Hi everyone, this is my e-learning project uh, final presentation and it is an interactive web quest um, meant for a third grade classroom. So it is an interactive web quest primarily created for social studies but it also has a lot of ELA incorporated into it. Um, and so this is meant to give the students a interactive learning experience to not only learn about Native Americans, but to find out what it would have been like to be a Native American who was crossing over the land bridge into what is now the United States and to sort of find a way to sustain yourself with your family or maybe you have to go alone. And there's a very step-by-step -step setup process. So in the introduction, this is just sort of setting the stage for the students, telling them who they are that they are a Native American, Siberian, because it wasn't America yet, and they decided that where they were, the environment was too harsh. So they are going to follow animal tracks and make their way toward new land. And so I'm sort of setting the scene here saying, you know, you don't know what lies across, it's very scary, but you're going to be brave because this is what you have to do with your family. So then here's a map for the students to look at to start to think about what to do. What type of land are you going to choose to settle in and why? So right now it's just sort of an exploratory phase of the web quest. So this is something we would have already gone over in class. So the idea of these cultural regions are not new, but they're applying it to themselves. So as you can see at the bottom of each page, it's going to give the next step for the student so that nothing is hopefully confusing for them. So it'll say, please click here to continue to the task page. So this is the task, this is the project. So even though you're just a child, you've been given the important job of keeping a diary for your tribe. This is gonna be the main assignment. So they will look to you to record their decisions, experiences, hardships, and of course your feelings throughout the entire journey. Your words will represent your tribe for thousands of years to come. At the end of your journey, you will go on a Native American vision quest to find a spiritual symbol to represent you on the cover of your diary. So the students are going to learn more about what that means as they go through the web quest. So here's a little video that they can watch to learn a little bit more about what a, a, a vision quest is. Vision Quest, Lakota Sioux Rite of Passage. The Lakota were originally a woodland society in Minnesota. When their enemies, the Assiniboine, acquired guns, the Lakota... So you obviously don't have to watch that, but you get the idea. So this is just setting the stage for what the assignment is going to be. So... The first interactive piece to this, it says, before you begin the assignment, please make one original comment telling the class your impressions of the Vision Quest video, and then respond to one classmate's comment and choose a stance. If you agree or disagree with them, tell them why. And this is something we have done in the class before, so the idea of disagreeing or agreeing and responding respectfully is already ingrained within them. So I did an example uh, post here and an example comment just to give them an even better idea, so I modeled how it would look. And um, it, ideally, this wouldn't be their first web quest, because otherwise it would be something I would walk through with them. So then it says, after you post your comment and response, please click here to go to the process section of the website for instructions and resources. So I laid it out in steps, because I didn't want any confusion to set back the learning process. So step one, choose a destination. They will use all of these resources and what we've learned in class to choose a destination. So, you know, are they going to go to uh, the plains? Are they going to go to the south? Are they going to go really close to where they just arrived? So this is something that the student can just completely decide for themselves as long as they have something to support it. And then next they are going to keep this diary. So like we said before, they are going to be the diary keeper for the tribe. So this is going to be a digital blog that they're going to keep as their personal journal. So they are going to write 10 diary entries, and in theory it's one for each 10th day of their journey. So 100 days journey. So the first diary entry will be about the land they choose to settle in and why. And then I just gave some details. Diary entries should be one page long, no longer than two. Remember to write your entries in Google Drive before transferring them to your blog in case of a saving error. And that's something I've ingrained in them throughout the semester, theoretically. 
and we do a lot of our work in Google Drive, so that should be common to them. And so these are some questions I asked. What food did your tribe eat? How did you find it? What problems did you encounter? Um, how do you feel? What did you learn? How did spirituality affect your journey? Questions I want them to think about from their own perspective because I think it'll be a more meaningful learning experience than simply learning facts about these Native Americans. So they're going to be using a blog procedure that we've used before. Um, there uh, are a set list of instructions posted on our Google Drive. And so then here I write, I encourage you to draw sketches, get imaginary quotes from other tribe members, and either find or make artifacts to include in your diary. So try to make the design of your blog match the way you think a Native American might have designed it through pictures, colors, patterns, etc. Use the design of this website for inspiration. Meaning, I don't want Justin Bieber in the background of their blog. I want them to think about who they are in that moment as the Native American, as the person going on this journey, and hopefully using that as inspiration to design their blog. So then here are a lot of resources for step two. Just some details, some things, a teepee creator, a totem pole creator, things about food, women, ways to answer the questions I posted. Just ways for them to sort of start thinking about the things we've already learned, but through the lens of this assignment and their character that they've created. And so I say, I expect you to use evidence from your WebQuest resources, which are here, to provide historically accurate and factual information in your diary entries. You do not need to use every research resource, only what is relevant to your journey. So then I say, send the link of your blog to Ms. Cohen as soon as you make your first post so she can check it, make comments, and share it with the class. So in bold is always the important details. So you are required to comment on three classmates' blog posts throughout this WebQuest. Use the link here to find everyone's blog links. Email Ms. Cohen with the names of the students whose blogs you commented on. So that's something I'm going to have to tra keep track of. But if you go up here, you see, we'll come back to the process in a minute, but this is where I'm going to post everybody's blogs. So theoretically, these are my students, and the example blog will be here. So this is my example diary entry, so that they can come here and see what is expected of them. And this is just another resource for them to be able to get the idea of what I'm looking for as the teacher. And a reminder, again, that they need to comment on three um, blog posts. And here's another example blog post that I did for them. And I, I actually modeled each of the necessary blog posts. So. Let's go back. We were in process. Step three. So step three of the assignment is going on a vision quest. So they've learned what a vision quest is from the video and it's something we've talked about before in the class. So now it's time for their Native American rite of passage, their vision quest. So they are going to choose a symbol. What, for those of you who don't know what a vision quest is, is that um, when someone goes on a vision quest, typically it was a boy, but, you know, for modern times, we're going to have everybody go on a vision quest, um, and they are going to find their own guardian spirit. So they go out all alone, without food or without water, and it's a very scary experience, sort of like a Native American bar mitzvah, let's call it that. And so they sort of wait until they see something to guide them. And that spirit, uh, think of it as a spirit animal, right, is sort of going to sort of be what is within their soul, what is going to guide them to success and help them get back to their tribe. So I want all of the students to come up with a symbol that represents them. And this is something they're going to have to discuss. They're going to have to choose one, be able to explain why, give reasoning, and incorporate it within their journey. So there are resources here, facts, symbols, things like that. And then step four is the big presentation. So they've completed the web quest. They've checked out all the resources. They've gone all over the internet learning all about this. They've written their digital diary in the blog. They have tracked their process throughout traveling uh, through North America. They've chosen their symbol for a vision quest, and now it's time to share it with the class. So each student is expected to create a video, prezi, or screencast to share. And within that, they will share their diary what does the diary look like? Why does it look this way? 
Does it have any special features? What makes it special? Then they're going to share their vision quest symbol. What symbol did they choose and why? How does it represent them? And then where did they settle? Why did they settle there? Um, and because there are 10 journal entries, they want them to choose the most important one. So what was most interesting or most important to your journey? And then I would like them to read it aloud in the video. And this portion is required to be an audio element. So if they're doing a Prezi or a video without sound, this is something they have to record from their voice. So once their final video incorporates all four of those things, they're going to post the link to their video in a comment here. And then they're expected to comment on three classmates' posts and includes two things they liked and why, one constructive idea of how they could improve their work, and one question. So that's four things they need to post and on three different classmates. And that and then here's just a little reminder that they also had to comment on three classmates' blogs, which should have been done before they submitted their video. So then it says, go to the evaluation page here to see how you'll be graded. Self-evaluating and peer review is always recommended, which they should already know, that they should have showed this to a few classmates or friends just to see if there was simple spelling errors or things they could add and just to collaborate a little bit. So then this is the example of where I told them they would put their link and we'll go to the evaluation page. So this is a, just a simple rubric. Um, this is the rubric for the journal, the destination, and the presentation, and just gives them an idea of what I'm looking for as a teacher and what they need to do in order to get that five, hopefully. And then here, um, I, I'm just giving this space to allow students to ask questions about the rubric or to talk to each other. You know, if they need to find someone to peer review, this is just sort of an open space to communicate with me and the rest of the class. So then here we have the conclusion. So at the end, just to wrap up the entire web quest, um, I want them to choose one question to answer and place it in the comment below include your name and the question number so they can choose one of these questions and this is just sort of um, like the culminating just check for understanding because these are sort of very different very vague questions and so I'm really looking for some sort of connection to everything they've learned on the web quest and just to check to see who's actually been engaged throughout the process and who maybe has been just going through the motion so I can reach out to them and see if there's a way that I can connect with them better so that is the conclusion of the web quest. Here again um, are the blogs like I showed before. And so um, if you want to go and actually see this, it's um, this link here. I know it's long, but you can, I can send it to anybody if they want it. But you can see all of the resources that I added in here. Um, um, need to go to the process page. All of these links are working links. So I actually went through and found, you know, all of the types of resources that students might want to use. Some are videos. So I tried to incorporate a lot of different learning Hello styles. Hello and welcome. Um, basically, anything you know some children prefer to learn from video so I incorporated that some children prefer to read some children prefer to look at pictures so I really tried to differentiate just to appeal to lots of different students so all of these resources are um, very different very like something that might work for a creative person or um, just something that everybody could find if they looked through it and took the time. And for the children who I know tend to struggle, I might help them through this process and recommend some links and, and sort of walk them through it a little bit more. So I feel like I've, I've really used a lot, if not most, of the things I've learned in this class about creating an e-environment. And I think that I'm really going to be able to apply it to my classroom. So thank you for watching, and thank you for a great class.